To make this birthstone bangle, you'll want a blank bangle, a handful of head pins, in my case, about 14 of them, some jump rings, and a variety of beads. I like to make a combination of letter beads along with some gemstone beads and maybe even a charm or two. You'll also need a variety of pliers, like chain nose pliers, bent nose pliers, round nose pliers, and the ever handy wire cutter. Let's get this show on the road by placing a head pin in each of the holes of each of the beads. If you're using letter beads like I am, make sure that all of the letters are facing the same way. Next, you'll want to finish the head pin by bending the wire to create an eye. The round nose pliers is the tool to use for this step. Some things of note, each person decides how much of the wire they want to wrap around the post before trimming it. I typically wrap it a lot because I like the look. The other important thing to remember is that when you're using wire cutters, make sure to wear safety glasses and turn the wire cutters away from your body when you're cutting. As you can see, I also place my hand over the tool so that if anything were to fly, it wouldn't come straight at me. The last step is to press that trimmed edge against the post so that it doesn't stick out and snag something while the person is wearing it. We've reached our last step and it's a super easy one. Now, I had originally grabbed four millimeter jump rings, but they didn't work so well, so I moved up to five millimeter jump rings instead. Depending on your design, it's always good to have options. Time to add beads to the bangle. Grab your chain nose pliers and your bent nose pliers, then take a jump ring and open it up. Then place one of the beads on the jump ring, place that jump ring on the bangle and close up the jump ring. Repeat this process until all of the beads have been added to the bangle. Now that all of the beads have been added to the bracelet, I wanted to talk you through my design to give you a place to start in case you're feeling stumped. For the birthstone bangle, what I typically do is start with the parent. I place their initial as the first bead and then the two birthstone beads for them. I also add a generic textured bead in silver or wood to add a cohesive design element that I can use throughout the sequence. Then I just go down the line in the children's birth order with the oldest child first, two beads representing that child's birth month, the cohesive bead, and then move on to the next child. In this case, I was making a bracelet for a mother whose children were born in the same month, so the color is the same, but I use different beads. I just happened to have this love charm in my stash, which I felt was the perfect literal and figurative end for a bracelet that is supposed to showcase a mother's love for her children. <laughs> 